Yeah, basically. How does that work? Well, just to give you a quick background, we've been dating for like a couple of years now. And uh, like the beginning of 2020, we moved in together. To be honest with you, lately things have been getting like not boring, but a little predictable, if you know what I mean. In bed or just like in your life? <laughs> Both, I guess. Oh. oh. You know, since Corona started, we've been staying home a lot. We we're trying to do the social distancing thing. And every Friday, she does this, like, virtual happy hour, she calls it, with her friends, where she basically just sits on the couch. And it's her, a bottle of wine, and her laptop all night. So mm. she just stays there until she passes out. Oh, gosh. Okay. So, like, I don't want to wake her up, so I usually just pick her up, and I, like, carry her to bed. Okay. And the last time I was carrying her to bed, her watch... She got like this smart watch recently, and every time she gets a message, it makes like this really long beeping sound. So I was carrying her, and she got a message, so the sound went off. I don't want her to wake up, so I like reach over and I try to like mute the sound. Mm -hmm. And I opened the message. I just saw it was from a friend of mine, uh, Ralph. He's like my best friend, and it said Sean would kick my ass if we did that again. Oh, well. What? Wow. Wow. Couldn't that be anything? Here's the real question. Did you end up asking Melissa about this in the morning? Because Lord knows I would have. Well, no, I haven't mentioned it to her. Like, I've been what? I've been thinking about it, like, nonstop. Like, I'm scared of what the answer is going to be, so I just haven't even brought it up to her yet. Wow. Have you brought it up to Ralph? I haven't said anything to anybody yet. Hell, I never understand when people call and they never bring this stuff up. I'm just curious. Is there, like... Anything else besides that message, though? Because I don't want us to jump to conclusions just because of maybe misunderstanding a message. Well, to be honest with you, when me and her first started dating, Ralph was kind of hitting on her. Oh, oh, yikes. So he's been trying to diddle that Skittle for a while. <laughs> Johnny, why, why, why does it have to be Skittles and diddles? I just don't. It rhymes. Okay. So let's just do the staycation setup, my guy. We're going to call your girl, tell her she's won a free romantic hotel stay, and ask who she wants to put on that reservation. Obviously, we want her to say your name. If she says your friend's name, Ralph, we give you the show. And is it over at that point? I mean, if she's cheating on me, I don't know. It depends. I don't even know what to think right now, to be honest with you. Okay. Well, don't stress out too much because we don't know if she's cheating yet. That's what we're going to have to do up next. Staycation setup with your morning mess. Okay, it's your morning mess in the middle of a staycation setup. We spoke to Sean, who's concerned that his girlfriend, Melissa, might be cheating on him with his best friend after a little situation with her smartwatch. So, Sean, your lady fell asleep and her smartwatch was going off with a little alert. You noticed it was from your friend. And the message said what? It said, Sean would kick my ass if we did that again. No, obviously you've tried to dissect that. It sounds like they're messing around. Yeah, it does. It could be a lot of different things, of course. But then you told us that he kind of was flirting with her when y'all first started dating. So. Yeah, I mean, I know he's got a crush on her. and uh, oh, That is just... so weird to me. How do you consider that a homie? No. We're going to give her a call, offer a free romantic hotel stay. Anish, you can ask that one important question. Who would you like to bring on this free romantic stay? Obviously, she should say your name, Sean. If she says your friend, Ralph, then she's messing with your best friend. I just want to know the truth, man. I'm, I've been stressing out over this for so long. I just want to know what the deal is yeah you deserve it we have counseling services on standby but let's go ahead and give her a call all right hello hello am i speaking with melissa yes this is melissa Melissa, good morning. My name is Jonathan calling from the Aurora Hotel with great news for you. You've been selected as the grand prize winner of our free romantic weekend giveaway. We're going to put you up in our oh, penthouse. I'm sorry. I don't, have, I don't have time for this. I'm sorry. I appreciate it, though. Thank you. Well, if I can assure you of a couple of things here real quick, it's truly free. This is a romantic weekend stay in our brand new penthouse suite with a honeymoon package. And if I get you set up here, I promise we won't bother you with any more phone calls. Okay, I mean, is it, like, you're you're saying it's free, like, I don't have to give you a credit card number or anything, like, this isn't one of those? That is true. I mean, we wouldn't need a credit card unless you decided to get room service. The only thing we're asking for is reviews of your experience on Google and Yelp. We're new, so we're trying to build up our presence online. Okay, and I'm not in some kind of, like, caller database, like, I'm not going to get spam calls? No, not at all. Um, oh, okay. I mean, yeah, if, if I don't have to give, like, any information, I mean, I don't see any harm in that i guess so 
Sure. I've been cooped up for a while. Sure. I'll, I'll hear you out. What's going on? Okay. Yeah. No, I'm glad to get you out of the house. So what this is, is a reservation that I'm going to set up with you. I have a few questions I need to get answered. So okay. my first one for you is with this free romantic weekend stay, we started off with a personalized note. It is addressed to your guest of honor. I wanted to give you a moment to think about what you'd like that to say. It's a romantic weekend. So I want you to have the perfect message. Okay. And this is just a message like just left in the room. Yes, that is correct. Okay, sure. Let's think. Can it say, this one's on me, babe? Yeah, I do have that down. Now, my next question for you is, who would you like to bring on this free romantic weekend stay? I need your guest's full name for us to continue. Okay, sure. It's um, it's Ralph. Mm-hmm. Ralph then. Wow. Melissa. Um, hello. Yeah, Melissa, hello. we legally got to let you know you're actually live on the radio. We're the morning mess with your boyfriend, Sean, on the line. Are you for real right now? Are you kidding me like, right now? Like, Am what? I kidding? Why are you doing Like, What is even going on right now? Like, why are you even doing this? That's what I'm asking. That's what I need to know. Oh, you What's want to know something on, like, on, why are you on getting the radio? A hotel with Ralph? Ralph isn't immature enough to put me on the radio to put me on blast, but maybe that has something what? to do with it. Yeah, Girl. You're, you're cheating. What are you talking about? How are you judging him? You don't even know our relationship, okay? Like, you don't know what I'm going through with so him. Tell me. Like, gosh, it's... Okay, it's, I don't know. You're right, because you've been f- hiding it from me the entire uh, time. Okay. How long has well, this been going on? Well, you know what? what you Obviously, doing? you're not you paying enough attention doing? to me, so that probably has something to do with it. And you know what? At this point, I would really prefer to do this at home. It's too late. You're already f- up. Too late. All right, we'll see who's crying about this in a week. Okay. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh. Girl, okay. What's wrong with Sean, you? real quick. I'm so sorry because, Melissa, hi. I mean, this is the first time that we're meeting and talking to each other. Is this normally how she talks to you? No, but she also doesn't. Well, I mean, I don't know. Uh, how long is this shit going on? I'm being confronted on the radio. I don't know. Like, you can't talk to me like this. Like, you can't do this to me. Like, I'm done with this. I'm done. Yo, what? How are you out here acting offended when you're the one who is cheating? You're trying to deflect and turn this on him like, oh my god, you tricked me. No. You are out here messing with his friend. Okay, and I'm sure he's perfect. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. Look, there's what? levels to things in couples, and cheating is, like, at the bottom. You should not be doing that at all. Well, I'm gonna go get at the bottom of a bed with Ralph. I'm out of here. I'm done with What the hell is going on? Uh, um, Sean, I'm so sorry. Wow, dude, I can't believe this. Shit. I can't believe I've wasted so much time. Dude, you dodged a bullet. You're not you're not married. You don't have any kids, right? No. You good, my guy? A wise man once said, "The best way to get over somebody is to get under somebody." You have to have someone in mind that you can call next. Uh, I mean, yeah, I I would have never done it the way she did it, but sucks especially because I'm not only losing my relationship, but I'm also losing like my best friend. <laughs> Sean, are you gonna punch your best friend in the forehead when you see him? Uh, I hope I never see him again. To be honest with you, and I I don't think I need therapy, but I definitely need to go to the f-ing bar. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, to meet somebody. Yeah, that's where you meet people, well, right? I, we're not really <laughs> doing, doing that right, right now. now, but you can have a home bar. And get on Tinder. <laughs> That's an option. Drink works. I'll give you a discount code. So, oh my God, Sean, you're gonna be fine, man. You can do a lot better than her, and I know that you say you don't want counseling, but we're gonna go ahead and give you that number anyway, okay? Okay. I'm gonna send you a free pizza too. I'm gonna send you a pizza as well. Yeah, okay. We'll, we'll send you alcohol. That's what you need. Yeah, too. Patron and pizza. <laughs> and then that third P, you can work out on your own, okay? <laughs> If he wants pepperoni on his oh pizza. Oh my god. That's all I'm saying. The morning mess.